How you transplant your plants while potting them sets the stepping stone for their health for the years to come. Do these things before planting any houseplants to ensure they stay happy. Number 1. Scratch Root Balls While you're repotting the plant, check out the roots. If the roots are densely packed, it would be good to scratch them up a bit to make them loose. Also, snip away the dark brown and rotten parts too if you can identify them. Ensure that you're doing it lightly and not harming or breaking the root ball in the process. Number 2. Use Water Absorbing Crystals Hydrogel can hold water and then release it gradually. This attribute makes them perfect for busy gardeners who don't have much time to look after plants, especially watering them. After preparing the potting mix, add a handful or more of hydrogel crystals to a medium-sized pot. This will allow the houseplants to absorb the moisture as per their requirement and thrive happily. Number 3. Remove Dead Leaves and Spent Blooms Getting rid of the dying parts like spent bloom, discolored leaves, dead and tangled stems will make more space for the plant to grow as the healthy parts can now receive all the nutrients and therefore look much healthier, happier, and lusher. Number 4. Put a fish head in the potting hole a fish head is a powerhouse of calcium, phosphorus, manganese, and magnesium. They're released slowly in the growing medium, helping the plant to have lush foliage as the microorganisms break them down into the soil. Fill one-third of the pot with the growing medium, add fish head, cover the rest with soil, and tuck your houseplant. Water as required, and the organisms in the medium will do their work to give your plant the best of the fish scrap. Number 5. Mix vermicompost in the growing medium. Adding vermicompost in the soil before potting the new house plant will give it the right boost. It's an excellent soil amendment to improve drainage and it naturally enhances the development of the plant. Use them for plants like philodendron and pothos. Avoid using it in succulents. Number 6. Check undersides of the leaves. The undersides of the leaves can tell you a lot about plants. Check them for any signs of pest infestation, discoloration, and diseases. Snip away the leaves that show these signs before planting to avoid the issue from spreading to the entire plant. Number 7. Add some Epsom salt Using Epsom salt is the best way to save the plant from transplant shock, which results in wilting and leaf discoloration. It also helps in chlorophyll production, which allows the plant to heal faster and absorb nutrients better. Add a half a tablespoon of Epsom salt in 2 liters of water and pour it as needed in the growing medium after planting. Number 8. Put the big pot on a caster wheel tray If you're planning to grow a big house plant, then putting it over a tray with wheels would make it easier for you to move it around the room. This is also helpful if you have the plant in a room with little light. With wheels, you can move the plant into a balcony or a spot that gets light, and after keeping it there 3 to 4 hours, you can move it back easily into the room. Number 9. Sterilize the pots well if you're using old pots to grow new plants, then you must sterilize them to ensure that they don't transmit any pests and diseases to the new plant. Traces of the trapped growing medium in these pots might be harmful to the new roots. Soak the pots in a solution containing one part household bleach to nine parts water for a minimum of 10 minutes. Then wash them with dish detergent and water solution to remove mineral deposits and other debris. Thanks for watching, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe.